Hey, this is Navid from Oud for Guitarist. Today I'm going to show you a video on how to put markings on your fingerboard so that you can easily find where the notes are. One of the biggest challenges for beginners is that uh, you're not sure where to put your finger. Um, there's no guide. I'm going to show you how you can put markers on the top of the fingerboard so that you can see approximately where you need to put your finger. The result is something like this. I'll show you exactly how to do it without having to go into any theory or anything like that. This is the Sultan Plus Oud. It's a good quality, great price. Check out the link in the description for more details about it. I'm going to show you how to do it on this Oud. So there's a few things you're going to need. Go to a stationery store and buy some stickers like this, uh, or a dollar store, wherever you can find these kind of things. Different colors, white, whatever you like. You'll need a ruler as well. And of course, you'll need your Oud. So the first thing you'll need to do is you're going to have to measure approximately from the bridge to the nut and determine the length of the string. On this case, uh, this is a 58.5 centimeter string length and so we're going to divide that number a number of times in order to find where we need to put the marking. So I've gone ahead and calculated how to mark where the points are regardless of the measurements of your oud. So let's say you have, you want to find this one, 58.5 divided by 3 and you'll get this point, this measurement. So that's 19.5. So you make sure that this is 19.5 from the nut to this spot here and make sure that you put the sticker so that the right hand side of the sticker is at 19.5. Then the mo next most important one is this one here. This one, in order to find this you divide by 4. So 58.5 divided by 4 is 14.6. So in order to get this one, this dot, you want to divide by 3.4. You get 17.2, so you measure 17.2 centimeters from the nut, and you put it there. This one's an approximate one. This one you don't have to worry about too much, it's not so important. The next most important one is this one here, the one, two, three, fourth one from the nut. This one you divide by five, and you get 11.7 .7 when you divide 58.5 divided by 5 and you put it there. In order to get this one you can divide it by 6.5 in order to get this one you divide it by 9 in order to get this one you divide by about 16.7 Now for the red, the microtonal ones you wanna look at the distance between the third white sticker from the nut and the nut. And you want to put it approximately in the middle. So you can divide that by half if you really want to do it precisely. Take the measurement. Okay, so you've got nine. So put it at about, about 4.8. I put it right in the center. And it's not supposed to be precise because the microtone changes depending on the macomb, depending on the region of music that you're playing, but this is just the approximate zone in between the first and the second dot. Now for the next one, you want to look at the second white dot and the fifth white dot and divide that in half and stick the sticker there. And eventually... So if you want to play Mokom Rast, put your third finger on the third dot on the A string then open D, then first finger in the approximate place of where that first red dot is, then F, then open G, second finger on the second white dot, and then pinky finger on the second red dot, and then open C, and then you've got Mukam Rast. Now this is not to create some particular tuning, this is just to get you an approximation of where these notes are so that you can get started playing oud and that you can find the notes easier. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks so much for watching and check out the link in the description to the foundation program. You can learn the oud from A to Z and we're going to have a great promotion for that this month so please subscribe to the newsletter to hear about it. Thank you.